electric cars, but I don't mean I'm against, I'm totally for them, but whatever the market says, and if it's 10% of the market, 12%, 7%, 20%, whatever it is, it's okay. But you can't have 100% electric cars. Trump just dropped a bombshell, no more EVs. With those three words, the president has thrown the entire auto industry into chaos. Electric vehicles, once hailed as the future of transportation, are now at the center of a national firestorm. One bold declaration has left car makers scrambling, environmentalists and consumers wondering if the EV revolution is grinding to a halt. What does this shocking move mean for the automotive world? Why did Trump take such a dramatic stance? And most importantly, what's next for you? Trump declares war. President Donald Trump has always had a strained relationship with electric vehicles. From his criticism of climate change policies to his emphasis on American energy independence, he's never been a champion for the EV revolution. But his latest announcement has taken things to a whole new level. This declaration made during a rally has sent shockwaves through the auto industry. On one hand, it's seen as a direct challenge to the Biden administration's ambitious EV goals. On the other hand, it reflects a growing division among consumers and automakers about the future of transportation. But where did this come from? The EV market, once hailed as the future of driving, has been struggling in recent months. Despite massive subsidies, tax credits, and bold promises from companies like Tesla and Ford, EV adoption in the United States has hit a roadblock. Could Trump's statement be tapping into a growing public sentiment? Industry insiders are scrambling for answers. Some say this is political theater aimed at energizing voters who feel left behind by the green energy energy movement. Others believe it's a warning sign of deeper issues in the EV industry, issues that could spell trouble for even the most optimistic automakers. A political catalyst for change. To understand the impact of Trump's announcement, let's step back and look at the bigger picture. U.S. presidential elections have long had a profound effect on the car industry. When Barack Obama took office, he introduced stricter fuel efficiency standards and EV subsidies, pushing automakers to go green. Then came Trump, who rolled back many of those policies, emphasizing deregulation and the revitalization of gas-powered cars. Fast forward to the Biden administration, which has doubled down on EVs as part of its climate agenda. Automakers like Stellantis, Ford, and General Motors have pledged billions of dollars to electrify their lineups. Biden's goal, 50% EV sales in the US by 2030. But here's the catch. These plans hinge on political stability. With Trump running again, his promise of no more EVs isn't just a statement, it's a warning shot. If he regains power, we could see a rollback of EV subsidies, carbon dioxide regulations, and federal incentives that have been the lifeblood of the EV market. In a matter of months, the momentum could shift dramatically. And it's not just about policies. Trump's announcement has resonated with a portion of the population that feels alienated by the rapid push for EVs. For them, this is about preserving jobs, affordability, and the freedom to choose. The EV narrative, for all its promise, hasn't connected with everyone, and Trump knows it. The problem with EVs. It's easy to see why Trump's announcement might resonate with skeptics. The EV revolution has faced some serious speed bumps recently. Let's talk numbers. In August 2023, the average electric vehicle sat on dealership lots for 82 days. Compare that to gas-powered cars, which sell in 64 days. That's a big gap, and it's growing. Why? Cost is the number one issue. Despite price cuts from Tesla and generous government subsidies, EVs are still expensive. In October, October 2023, the average price of an EV was 28% higher than a gas-powered car. And that's just the sticker price. Add in the cost of home chargers, higher insurance premiums, and expensive repairs, and the gap widens even further. Then there's range anxiety. Sure, EVs have made progress, but many consumers still worry about running out of battery during long trips. And even when they find a charging station, they face long wait times, especially if they're using a fast charger, which can wear down the battery over time. Finally, let's talk about infrastructure. The US charging network is still in its infancy. 77% of Americans worry about the lack of charging stations. And while states like California are leading the charge, many parts of the country are falling behind. These challenges paint a picture of an industry that's not quite ready for mass adoption. And for skeptics, they're proof that the push for EVs is moving too fast, leaving average consumers behind. The impact on automakers. 
For automakers, Trump's announcement is both a challenge and an opportunity. Companies like Stellantis, Ford, and GM have bet big on electric vehicles, investing billions of dollars in new factories, technologies, and models. Stellantis's Dare Forward 2030 plan aims for 100% EV sales in Europe and 50% in the US by the end of the decade. But even Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares has expressed concerns. Speaking at a plant in Italy, he warned that public opinion is shifting away away from EVs. If Trump's policies roll back incentives, automakers could find themselves with a mountain of unsold inventory and billions in sunk costs. On the flip side, Trump's declaration could revitalize the gas-powered market. For years, traditional cars have been overshadowed by the EV hype. A return to pro-gas policies could shift automakers' priorities, bringing back models that appeal to a broader audience. Still, the stakes are high. Automakers are walking a tightrope, trying to balance innovation with market demand. Trump's announcement has thrown a wrench into their plans, forcing them to rethink their strategies and fast. Consumer confidence takes a hit. It is no secret that political uncertainty affects consumer behavior, especially when it comes to large purchases like cars. Former President Donald Trump's announcement calling for the end of electric vehicles has stirred up anxieties across the market. But why does this matter to the average buyer? Because people want stability. A major policy reversal could drastically reshape the car market, leaving many consumers feeling unsure about what to invest in. Electric vehicles are not cheap, and for most buyers, they represent a long-term commitment. When you add political turbulence into the mix, many consumers are likely to pause and reassess. History tells us that presidential elections bring a wave of uncertainty, and we see this pattern time and time again. Whether it is a fear of changing tax policies or a potential rollback of incentives, buyers tend to hold back during election years. Looking back to the election cycle of 2016, new car sales dropped significantly in the weeks leading up to the vote. Dealerships tried to counter this trend with aggressive discounts, but uncertainty still won out. After the election, sales saw a major jump, but not without a seismic shift in buyer behavior. Today, we are seeing similar patterns unfold, only this time the stakes are even higher for electric vehicles. Now consider this. The policies driving the push for electric vehicles have been critical in convincing consumers to take the plunge. Subsidies, tax incentives, and federal support have made these cars more appealing, despite their higher upfront costs. If these policies are rolled back, buyers who are on the fence may decide to stick with internal combustion engines. This hesitation is already showing up in the data as sales for electric vehicles are slowing while gas-powered cars remain steady. Automakers in turmoil Automakers are watching this situation unfold with bated breath. The push for electric vehicles has been a cornerstone of their future strategies, driven largely by government incentives and emissions targets. But Trump's announcement has cast doubt on the stability of these plans. Companies like Stellantis, General Motors, and Ford are now facing difficult questions about their direction. And let us look at Stellantis as a case study. The company's Dare Forward 2030 initiative aims to achieve 100% electric vehicle sales in Europe and 50% percent in the United States by the start of the next decade. This is no small ambition. Billions of dollars have been poured into research, development, and production facilities to make this a reality. However, even Stellantis Chief Executive Officer Carlos Tavares has acknowledged the challenges ahead. He recently pointed out that public sentiment around electric vehicles is shifting, and political changes could accelerate this trend. For Ford Motor Company, the situation is equally complex. The automaker has made headlines for its heavy investment in electric trucks and sports utility vehicles, including the popular Ford Lightning series. Yet Ford's leadership has admitted that the electric vehicle market is becoming more politicized than they ever anticipated. If Trump's stance gains traction, Ford may have to rethink its priorities, potentially shifting resources back toward gas-powered models. Meanwhile, smaller automakers and startups are feeling the heat even more intensely. For them, the pivot to electric vehicles represents a do-or-die scenario. Unlike industry giants, they do not have the luxury of diversified product lines to fall back on. A shift in political support for electric vehicles could be catastrophic, forcing some companies to scale back or even shut down entirely. Infrastructure strain. Beyond consumer behavior and automaker strategies, there is another crucial factor to consider. Infrastructure. Electric vehicles are not just cars. They are part of a larger ecosystem that relies on charging networks, power grids, and renewable energy sources. Trump's announcement brings attention to the cracks in this system, many of which are already under strain. Take the National Charging Network, for example. While there has been significant progress in recent years, the United States is far from having a fully developed system 
system. A recent survey found that 77% of Americans are worried about the availability of charging stations. This concern is particularly pronounced in rural areas, where charging infrastructure is often scarce or non-existent. Even in states like California, which leads the nation in electric vehicle adoption, the power grid has struggled to keep up with demand. Last year, during a heat wave, California officials asked residents to avoid charging their electric vehicles during peak hours to prevent overloading the system. If this is the situation in one of the most electric vehicle friendly states, imagine the challenges faced by less developed regions. The issue extends beyond residential charging. Commercial fleets, such as delivery vans and trucks, require far more electricity than passenger vehicles. Upgrading the necessary infrastructure for these heavy-duty vehicles comes with a hefty price tag, and delays are inevitable. Local power grids, which were not designed to handle such loads, will need significant investment to keep pace with rising demand. These infrastructure challenges are compounded by supply chain bottlenecks. From the materials needed to build charging stations to the transformers required for power grid upgrades, shortages are creating delays that could last months or even years. Without a reliable and robust charging network, widespread electric vehicle adoption becomes much harder to achieve. Global implications. Trump's announcement has not only shaken the domestic market, but also sent ripples across the global automotive industry. The United States is one of the largest car markets in the world, and its policies often influence international trends. A rollback of electric vehicle incentives and regulations could disrupt the strategies of global automakers and governments alike. Take Europe, for example. European Union nations have been pushing aggressively toward electrification, with many setting deadlines to phase out internal combustion engines. Companies like Volkswagen, BMW, and Renault have aligned their strategies with these goals. However, the United States market plays a significant role in their global operations. A slowdown in American electric vehicle adoption could force these automakers to reassess their timelines and investments. China, the world's largest market for electric vehicles, is also closely watching the situation. Chinese automakers have been making inroads into the United States market with affordable electric vehicles, hoping to capitalize on growing demand. If Trump's policies gain traction, these companies may face new barriers, such as tariffs or reduced incentives for electric vehicle imports. The environmental implications are equally concerning. Electric vehicles are a key part of global efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and combat climate change. A shift away from electric vehicles in the United States could hinder these efforts, making it harder for the world to meet its emissions reduction targets. This is not just about politics. It is about the future of the global automotive industry and the planet. The decisions made in the coming months will have far-reaching consequences, shaping the trajectory of transportation, technology, and sustainability for years to come. Innovation in a divided market. Despite the challenges, there is one silver lining. Innovation often thrives in times of uncertainty. Automakers, policymakers, and entrepreneurs are being forced to think creatively about the future of transportation. This could lead to breakthroughs that benefit both electric vehicles and traditional cars. For instance, hybrid vehicles may see a resurgence as a middle ground. These cars offer the environmental benefits of reduced emissions without the full commitment to an all-electric lifestyle. Companies like Toyota have long championed hybrids, and this moment could provide an opportunity for them to shine. Additionally, the focus on electric vehicles has spurred advancements in battery technology, renewable energy, and manufacturing processes. Even if the market shifts, these innovations will continue to shape the industry. Automakers are also exploring alternative fuels, such as hydrogen, as another way to reduce emissions while maintaining the convenience of traditional refueling. Startups and smaller automakers may play a pivotal role in this transition. Without the baggage of legacy systems, these companies are often more agile, able to adapt quickly to changing market conditions. They could introduce new models, technologies, or business models that challenge the status quo. As the political landscape continues to evolve, automakers will need to strike a delicate balance between innovation and pragmatism. Consumers, too, will have to navigate a rapidly changing market, weighing the costs and benefits of their choices. And for policymakers, the challenge will be finding a path forward that supports both economic growth and environmental sustainability. The economics of electric vehicles. Electric vehicles 
vehicles were once hailed as the future of transportation, but the road to mass adoption is proving far more challenging than many anticipated. For many consumers, the economics of owning an electric vehicle remain a significant barrier. Despite price cuts and generous subsidies, electric vehicles are still considered a luxury for the average buyer. Consider the numbers. Even with major price reductions from brands like Tesla, the average electric vehicle still costs nearly 30% more than a comparable gas-powered car. That sticker price alone is often enough to deter prospective buyers. But the costs do not stop there. Installing a home charging station, a near essential for most electric vehicle owners, can set you back up to $2,000. And while proponents of electric vehicles often point to lower maintenance costs, these benefits are offset by other expenses. Electric vehicles are heavier than traditional cars, which means tires wear out faster and need to be replaced more frequently. The real kicker, however, comes when the battery runs into trouble. Battery replacements can cost tens of thousands of dollars, often rivaling the price of the car itself. For many consumers, these costs make owning an electric vehicle feel more like a gamble than a smart investment. But it is not just the upfront and maintenance costs that weigh on potential buyers. Depreciation is another major concern. Electric vehicles tend to lose value faster than their gas-powered counterparts, leaving owners unsure about their resale prospects. Recent data shows that some electric vehicles lose as much as 20% of their value in the first year alone. This creates a sense of uncertainty for buyers who are already skeptical about making the leap into electric vehicles. Technological Barriers to Adoption while the economics of electric vehicles are a major hurdle, they are not the only factor slowing adoption. The limitations of current battery technology and infrastructure also play a significant role. Range anxiety remains one of the most commonly cited reasons for consumer hesitation. Although modern electric vehicles boast ranges of over 300 miles on a single charge, this is still far less convenient than the near-universal availability of gas stations. Charging times add another layer of complexity. Even with fast chargers, it can take 30 30 to 40 minutes to reach an 80% charge. For longer road trips, this delay is more than just an inconvenience. It is a deterrent. Fast charging also has its downsides. Frequent use can degrade the battery, reducing its lifespan and efficiency. Another issue is the uneven distribution of charging stations across the country. While urban centers and affluent suburbs often have robust networks, rural areas and smaller towns lag far behind. This creates a geographic disparity in who can realistically own and operate an electric vehicle. For many potential buyers, the lack of accessible charging infrastructure is a deal breaker. Moreover, the materials used in electric vehicle batteries, such as lithium and cobalt, present their own challenges. These resources are not only expensive, but also limited. The mining and refining processes have significant environmental and ethical implications, raising questions about the long-term sustainability of electric vehicles. If battery technology does not advance quickly enough to reduce dependency on these materials, the industry could face a supply chain crisis. A double-edged sword. Electric vehicles are often promoted as a greener alternative to traditional gas-powered cars. And to their credit, they do produce fewer emissions during operation. However, the environmental story of electric vehicles is more complex than it initially appears. While they eliminate tailpipe emissions, the production and disposal processes associated with electric vehicles can have significant environmental consequences. The manufacturing of electric vehicle batteries is energy intensive and often relies on fossil fuels. Additionally, the extraction of raw materials like lithium and cobalt has been linked to environmental degradation and human rights abuses in mining regions. Critics argue that these factors diminish the green credentials of electric vehicles, particularly when compared to improvements in the efficiency of gas-powered cars. Disposal and recycling present another set of challenges. Electric vehicle batteries have a limited lifespan, and their disposal requires careful handling to prevent environmental contamination. Recycling programs for these batteries are still in their infancy, meaning many end up in landfills. Without significant advancements in battery recycling technology, the environmental benefits of electric vehicles may not outweigh their drawbacks. That said, electric vehicles still play a critical role in reducing global carbon emissions, particularly in regions where renewable energy sources are prevalent. When charged using solar, wind, or hydroelectric power, the carbon footprint of an electric vehicle drops dramatically. This highlights the importance of integrating renewable energy into the grid as part of the broader push for electrification. The role of government in shaping the market. Government policies and incentives have been the driving force behind the growth of the electric vehicle market. 
subsidies, tax credits, and grants have made electric vehicles more affordable for consumers and have encouraged automakers to invest in electrification. However, these policies are not guaranteed to last, especially in a politically divided environment. Trump's announcement has reignited debates about the role of government in promoting electric vehicles. Proponents argue that government intervention is necessary to accelerate the transition to cleaner energy and reduce carbon emissions. Opponents, however, believe that the market should determine the future of transportation without what they see as unnecessary subsidies or mandates. In the United States, federal policies like the Inflation Reduction Act have provided significant support for electric vehicle adoption. The act includes provisions for tax credits on electric vehicle purchases as well as funding for the expansion of charging infrastructure. However, if these policies are rolled back or replaced, the momentum behind the electric vehicle market could stall. State governments also play a critical role in shaping the market. California, for instance, has set ambitious goals to phase out gas-powered cars and transition to 100% electric vehicle sales by the year 2035. Other states are following suit, but these policies could face legal and political challenges if federal support wanes. The Silent Revolution and Despite the challenges, there is still hope for the future of electric vehicles. The pressure to overcome economic, technological, and environmental barriers has spurred a wave of innovation across the industry. Automakers, startups, and researchers are working tirelessly to develop new solutions that could reshape the market. One area of focus is the development of next-generation batteries. Solid-state batteries, for example, promise to deliver higher energy density, faster charging times, and longer lifespans than current lithium-ion batteries. If successfully commercialized, these advancements could address many of the concerns surrounding electric vehicles. Another promising avenue is the integration of renewable energy into the charging network. Solar-powered charging stations and vehicle-to-grid technologies could make electric vehicles more sustainable and cost-effective. These innovations not only benefit electric vehicle owners, but also contribute to the stability and efficiency of the broader energy grid. Hybrid vehicles may also see a resurgence as a transitional solution. By combining the benefits of electric and gas-powered technologies, hybrids offer a more practical option for consumers who are not yet ready to fully commit to electrification. Automakers like Toyota, which has long championed hybrids, are well positioned to capitalize on this trend. Finally, advancements in autonomous driving technology could further enhance the appeal of electric vehicles. By optimizing driving patterns and reducing energy consumption, autonomous systems have the potential to extend the range and efficiency of electric vehicles, making them even more attractive to consumers. A changing consumer mindset. For electric vehicles to achieve widespread adoption, consumer perceptions will need to shift. While early adopters were drawn to the novelty and environmental benefits of electric vehicles, mainstream buyers are more pragmatic. They prioritize affordability, convenience, and reliability above all else. Education and outreach will be key in addressing misconceptions about electric vehicles. Many consumers are still unfamiliar with the practicalities of owning an electric vehicle. From charging logistics to maintenance requirements, automakers and policy makers will need to invest in public awareness campaigns to bridge this knowledge gap. Incentives will also play a crucial role in shaping consumer behavior. Programs that offer rebates for charging station installations, discounts on insurance premiums, or perks like access to carpool lanes can make electric vehicles more appealing to the average buyer. The road ahead. The future of electric vehicles and the automotive industry as a whole remains uncertain. Trump's announcement has exposed the fragility of the electric vehicle market, highlighting the need for innovation, infrastructure, and policy stability. While the road ahead is filled with challenges, it is also ripe with opportunities for those willing to adapt and innovate. Automakers, policymakers, and consumers all have a role to play in shaping the next chapter of the electric vehicle story. Whether the industry moves forward or takes a step back will depend on how these stakeholders navigate the complex web of economic, technological, and political factors at play. What is clear is that the stakes are higher than ever. The decisions made in the coming years will not only determine the fate of electric vehicles, but also set the course for the future of transportation, energy, and the environment. The question now is not just about electric vehicles, it is about the future of transportation itself. Are we on the verge of a revolution, or are we heading back to the drawing board? Only time will tell.